Okay, so here is my rocket stove. You can see, maybe, you can see the steam coming off of the clay. I just put it on there um, two days ago. Obviously isn't dried out enough. So it's still letting uh, steam out. Um, supposed to let it set for a couple of weeks before you do it, but I kind of ran out of time since uh, it started getting cold. So I had to uh, heat it up, and I think uh, you see the big cracks in it. I'll just let the cracks happen, and the next couple days it's supposed to be warmer out, so I should be able to uh, put clay back over top of it, let it set, and uh, it'll probably dry out on its own little addition that I've added on to my rocket stove is um, a pellet gravity fed um, kind of chute. I uh, put the pellets up in the, the top here and they filter down. There is a slot on the side. I've covered it up with tape. Nothing that's on top of right there. That is that actually fits in the slot that keeps the pellets from going down until I want them to. Usually what I do is I start the fire, I let it uh, go for quite a bit, get some coals down in the bottom, and uh, then I start adding the, I put another piece of wood in there and uh, kind of prop it up to stop all the pellets from shooting out at once. And then I uh, let the um, pellets as they burn they gravity feed out um, it does smoke back a little bit that's why I have the lid back or lid on uh, especially when that slot is not taped up it um, it'll smoke back a little bit but if you restrict the airflow from the other places then it sucks air in from there and you don't have any uh, feedback and you can fill the pipe and typically the pipe is not warm, except for right now. Um, I've got access to a bunch of coal, and I just wanted to test it out and see if I could burn coal in there. And it's working quite well, um, almost too well. I got uh, the digital thermometer here, and you can see it's uh, almost 800 degrees. A couple minutes ago it was uh, over 900 and you can see the as I go down the lid the airflow is getting cooler and then you go down the side still fairly warm and keep going down and then you hit the clay and it drops considerably now the idea is the clay soaks up the heat and releases it over time. Um, you'll see my grow beds I have in here. The pipe goes along there, goes underneath the tomatoes, around the back, across this bed here, and then goes out the pipe there. That Right now it is 16, 70 degrees. Um, not too bad. Just kind of an overview of my greenhouse I got going. I have peas, tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. Wife made me bring some uh, of her flowers in, which they seem like they're doing okay. Lettuce spinach, um, potato, a few other things, and a pepper I transplanted from between the two tomatoes. I had forgotten it was there over the summer. So I transplanted it here and it seems like it's doing fairly well. I don't know what those are. I have a 55 gallon barrel full of water, um, kind of soaking up the heat. It uh, soaks up heat during during all during the day, and uh, releases it. I think overnight. That's what they say anyway. But 
who knows for sure. But it's kind of an overview. Oh, I will let you look at the insides of it. So as you can see, pretty hot down in there. But uh, you can see the flames going that way. And you just keep uh, putting wood in there and letting her go. Alright, see you guys later.